Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Tom O'Robelard and today Tasty has actually given me the wonderful opportunity of bringing to you his best class setups. Yes guys, he didn't really want to commentate this video because he wanted someone there uh, that could probably speak a little bit uh, clearer than him. Should we, should we say, I don't think he was very happy with the way in which he speaks. I don't know why. Uh, to be honest, I really enjoyed Tasty's commentaries and if you do too, let him know down in the comment section below guys. So uh, as you will be able to see in the background of this video, there are Tasty's top three guns that he uses in Black Ops 3 at the moment, his three favourite guns and his favourite class setups that go along with him. So if you do fancy playing like Carnage Tasty, then make sure you check out this video. Um, obviously guys, I really do hope you enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like on this video and make sure if you are new to Carnage Tasty's channel, you come over and check him out. My link will also be down in the description below if you also like and enjoy my commentary too. So without further ado, let me get right into the video. So we're going to be starting off with the CUDA. Now the CUDA is apparently a to taste one of the most OP guns that he's used, uh, which is quite good. And we're starting off obviously with the CUDA as the primary attachment. Uh, are we, I think he has four attachments overall. There we go, four attachments, yes. So the first attachment he's got there is Quick Draw, and then the second attachment is Extended Max. The third attachment is Rapid Fire, and the final attachment is going to be Fast Max. Now, guys, if you want to actually like stop there, pause the video, and maybe go and set yourself up a class that's similar, then go for it. Go right ahead at any point in this video. Um, be sure to pause it uh, if you do actually want to try out these class setups. Or if you've got a pretty pretty good brain, a pretty good memory, then you can obviously remember what, the, uh, what they all look like and try and recreate it for yourself. So obviously we've got for perk 1, we've got Afterburner. And for perk 2, we've got Scavenger and perk 3. We're looking like we've got a bit of Tactical Mask. Now guys, the reason why he's chosen this, firstly Afterburner, gives you the ability to refresh your thruster packs every uh, like much, much, much faster than they would normally refresh. And this is really, really handy, especially when you're jumping around a lot and you're trying to avoid the enemy's gunfire. Uh, it's really, really, really useful and especially useful to try and get around the map quickly, to try and get to that B domination and other um, good objectives like that. So it's really, really, really important that you have this perk on. The second perk, obviously, is Scavenger. Um, if you're going to ever run out of bullets, then obviously you've got Scavenger to pick up some packs. It also refreshes the lethal so if you ever like use a grenade or a semtex then obviously you got that to help you out too finally there is obviously tack mask if you get lobbed grenades out you're playing the objective and um, people lob stun grenades then obviously you're still going to be fully functional aren't you so guys that is the cuda let me move right on let's pull up the man of war now the man of war is an assault rifle obviously something that's completely different uh, to using a submachine gun different play style and therefore you can see this is very, very, very specialist, this uh, this class setup itself. Because you, you can only see two perks there, and you can actually see an optic and four attachments, which is quite a lot. So obviously we've got the Man of War, and it's got the ELO attachment. Now the ELO attachment is a really, really good attachment. It's like a like a better version of the Red Dot site. You don't unlock it until really late on. You have to work quite hard to actually get this Man of War uh, attachment. And it's really, really good. I actually really like it. Next up we got the Quick Draw. Grip. Now the quick draw is uh, obviously so you can aim in faster. We've got yourself some grip and then a stock and finally extended mags. All really, really, really vital when playing Call of Duty, especially in them gunfights. When you want to make sure that you win, you want to make sure you have extended mags and grip. So you've got that accuracy and also that long length of fire. If you do happen to miss a couple of bullets at the start, you're not going to ever worry about running out of bullets at the end. So then as a perk, you've obviously got the ghost perk. Now ghost is really, really good, especially when you're trying to hide from the enemy, um, when enemies like uh, usually have quite low score streaks and therefore once you cap a couple of objectives, you're pretty much on your UAV already. So if somebody does actually happen to get a UAV, then obviously you're gonna stay completely off the map, completely clear from any enemies at all, which is really, really handy. Then for perk two, we've got our scavenger perk. Now I think, according to Tasty, it's probably the most vital perk around because you don't ever want to run out of bullets, especially when you've only got one gun. So, finally, we're going to move right on to the VMP. Now, the VMP is Tasty's favourite and most used gun. And as you can see here, that we've got the VMP with the quick draw grip and the grip itself. And then we got uh, the extended mags and what looks like a little bit of rapid fire. Now, this is really, really, really important for the gun because it actually helps uh, Tasty manage to win some more gunfights and 
of course gives him a bit more of an advantage. As you can see, because it's a submachine gun class, he's kind of kept to the same things. Kept to the perk 1, perk 2, perk 3 are the same. We've got Afterburner. We have Scavenger, and of course we have that Tactical Mass as well. So guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really informing. Please drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. This is Carnage Tasty's best class setups for you guys. If you want or have any improvements, then please let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you want to carry on hearing it, Carnage Tasty's voice, hashtag Carnage Tasty the commentator, put that down in the comment section below, guys. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. My name is Tom O'Overload, and I hope to speak to you all in my next video. Peace.